I don't like it. So I want it to be super safe and secure. You. So she buys three SKB cases and she puts one in there and then puts another one on top of it and another Do one on top not. of it. Guess who it is? Guess who's back? That's back right. Again. That's right. It's Wendy and Scott. Scott. Yep. Is that even Scott? Scott. Yeah. It? You know, I'm I'm just excited. Or is it like the Scott toilet paper that you know it's just no, not much there? No. No. <laughs> like Charmin. No, Charmin's good. I know. See, the name is long and it's fluffy. Fat. That's yeah. pretty much how the, the toilet paper is. It's three thin. X. <laughs> doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how thick it is. I still like. Whoosh. <laughs> That's how the toilets got clogged up here. At the shop. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It was all me. All me. But what we wanted to talk to you guys about is how to pack for an archery event. Meaning, it could be a local one. It could be a national one. What does it look like? So, Wendy, she's just giving me a grumpy face. I don't yeah, know why. Yeah, because I thought it was about flying. Well, you got to pack and travel. Okay. Uh, I guess. Y- As I hear planes going over. We're in Texas. You could have to fly <laughs> from one side of the state to the other. It's only nine hours to get to El Paso. Only. It's only. Only nine hours. <laughs> All right, Wendy, kick us off, and, and you'll see the difference in how I pack versus how different? Wendy packs. <laughs> I want everything to be safe and secure. Uh, so uh, me too. <laughs> really? <laughs> so I prefer if we're going to fly, not to use a soft sided case. Uh, I want the, you know, what is airline safety? Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, let me start this off with our very first year. Our Should we just start this podcast over? <laughs> Ve- going to Vegas, the lady with Southwest took Julia's bow and threw it like three feet behind her. I about went over the counter. My husband grabbed me basically like from the back of my collar. It was like, no, you still have to get through security. It, it will be fine. I'm like, no, but it was fine. However, since then, I have wanted to make sure everything was really sturdy that we had because if that lady could throw it, what are those men doing out there putting it on the plane? And you've all seen luggage being thrown from their little tram onto the, I started to say trailer, but onto the airplane. I don't like it. So I want it to be super safe and secure. So she buys three SB, SKB cases and she puts one in there and then puts another one on top of it and another do one on top not. of it. <laughs> but I do prefer SKB cases. Uh, it's not to say that for one, it's not going to get lost, uh, but that it's supposed to be airline safe. <laughs> do you lock yours? You know, we used to until uh, Arizona Cup because Every TSA lock that we have ever put on there over the years has been cut and not returned. And they're TSA, so they're supposed to have the little key that fits in all of them. But no, they cut them off. So what's the use? And then we were told uh, after Vegas or while we were in Vegas that every time other people have put or not put the locks on there, then it seems like nothing was moved or touched inside their case because that's always been a fear of mine is that we get there and all the arrows are broke or something's broke on the bow. Uh, so not only do I use the SKB case, uh, I put down a layer of the eggshell foam on the inside. So in between it cushions the arrows from the bow and just adds another layer of cushion in there. Now you guys do something totally different. You yeah, guys so we, like so we've done the hard case. Yeah, we did the hard case for a few years. Um, <laughs> we were like you. We 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 only put the locks on there twice because I ran out of them. <laughs> I know we had to buy new ones every yeah. single time. So I was like, I'm not doing those anymore. The one thing that I was frustrated with with the hard case was is that the first time we did it, you know, they they moved everything around. So the bow was there was stuff underneath the bow. There was all kinds of stuff smushed in there. Uh, the next time we did it, it. Uh, flew with the hard case. Arrows were were bent because we were running aluminum arrows at that point. So they moved everything around and then slammed the case back down oh. and bent it. Then we decided, you know what? What we're going to do is I'm going to take a picture. So I packed the whole thing. 
I would take a picture of it. I would print it off on my printer, and I and I put it in there with a note that says, if you touch anything, put it back how you found it. Yes, and I, because of you, we've done that from the very first time we've ever flown. And same thing, put that in there with the note. That seemed to help. To be honest, like once I did that, we never had another issue with a hard case. What we ended up, we tried a soft case. The soft case are still, there's a still hard shell around the, on the ends and everything. That one we have never had an issue with. We, we are able to, he's able to put his clothes in there. He's be able to put everything in there. His arrows are in a tube, so they're protected. His stabilizers are on top, away from his, uh, his uh, uh, bow, because you put a flap over top of it and you put the, put the stabilizers on top of it. And they've got Velcro that locks those suckers in. And then you have another spot where you can put his quiver and all that stuff. You guys can't. We couldn't do all that equipment in a hard case. We put we put uh, stabilizers and arrows in there. Uh, and now I'll have to start putting my bow scale and uh, my calipers in there because putting them in my carry-on, they have gotten both times at Arizona going to and then coming from. Oh, yeah. I mean, my lingerie part it was flapped open because i had it in everything and i was like why did, why did you have lingerie um, there well it's the my my what are you uh, talking about? underclothes let's put it was, i was like well hello everybody saw that and and then coming home the guy was like oh it's these things that he pulls out and it's my uh my calipers and my bow scale and i was like oh i looked at julia's like they will go in your bow case next time but yeah, the um, quiver, but at the same time, I don't like having those kinds of things checked and put on the plane to where they can get lost. So like the quiver, the scope, the sight, you know, we put all those things in our, yeah, prob- our carry-on. You know, we've probably, for the last four years, we've used uh, the Legend soft cases, and we've had zero issues with it. <laughs> and... Um, so we, we don't have a problem. My heart starts. Yeah. We don't have a problem with it. (laughs) Ryan loves it because when he travels, even on his own, he can just put it all in it. He knows to pack everything in his one case that has his clothes, has everything. And he just sends it and he goes and we have not had an issue. Yeah. But then with that one thing is lost, everything's lost. Well, all, everything's lost. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. (laughs) Everything's lost. So like, I don't know. At least maybe I can salvage some things if I so, don't yeah, put it so, all on so the yeah, plane. So yeah, so the quiver, yeah, sh- shows up. The bow, <laughs> bow doesn't make it. You ain't shooting. <laughs> That's terrible. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> like like but, you said, one thing gone. What are you going to do? <laughs> one of the main things that if it doesn't show up is the bow, you're not shooting. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Oh my god! And then, but in Ryan's case, he's not gonna have underwear to change into either. You can always go to the Walmart. There's a Walmart There's somewhere. It's a Walmart. Target everywhere. somewhere. Oh my goodness! Yeah. So then, packing, you know, in a car, maybe it's not so bad. Uh, but I do like hard cases, even in a car, if we're traveling somewhere. So if we if we drive to Iowa this summer, um, you know. And you want to pack a canopy and you want to pack, you've got several suitcases and different things like that. I either got to make sure that the bow is on top or, you know, a hard case to where you can put things on top. We, we Please, put it, we, Scott, so what are you going, talking about? Hey, what's wrong with you? Stack Just stuff on top throw of that it thing. All on top of that bow. Yeah. What's going to, what's it going to do? <laughs> got your clothes squishing up against it? Big oh deal. Oh, goodness. I'm like over here going, like, <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> She, My husband goes out there and she he tries too to, much. He tries to load up the car and I'm like, no, he's like, are you serious? And unpacking the car. I'm like, yes, yes, I am. Just go in the house. I got this. Yeah, we know. <laughs> we know you're controlling. If I don't even understand. No. He doesn't drive, does he? You drive. He drives. How? <laughs> and he doesn't kill you. I would have just kicked you out. I told Amy when I got back from Arizona, I was like, yep, I'm not driving anymore with Wendy. I'm done. <laughs> Whatever. What's our next trip? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're driving wherever it is. At least I don't try to run over grandma's. I don't. I don't. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're so the one that drives off the curbs here at the shop. Oh, no. It was my husband. It was oh, Steve. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you were yelling at him, too. I did. <laughs> Shock- shocking. 
<laughs> it's like the car's not even gonna drive home now. Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. It's nothing, Wendy. He's like, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, he must be a saint. <laughs> Whatever, I am. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sister Wendy. <laughs> Saint Windy. All right. But anyway, so there's two different kinds of um, cases that you can choose. You can choose a hard sided case, but if you're going to do that, you know, something that is very strong, like an SKB, what other Pelican. brands? Pelican puts a good Pelican. case. Pelican. So the, the thing on the hard case, I do want to mention it, it's, and I, I'm making fun of her. It really doesn't matter. You just want to get your stuff there safe and whatever oh. you're comfortable in. Right. Just hit my mic. Um, <laughs> I didn't hear So, it. but with a hard case, with all the equipment they have, you do have to figure out how do you get everything in the case and then or, or all of their stuff there because you're not going to fit it all in a hard case, more than likely, unless you're squishing it, squishing it down. And we know you ain't squishing. No, no. Julia will put her uh, quiver in her carry-on luggage. She'll put her uh, binoculars in a backpack. Uh, the scope and sight, we put it in its little case, and it goes in our carry-on. So, yeah. And yep. so, what Ryan does is, you know, he has a soft case, which is the Legend Forty Four, I think, is what it is, and he takes the sight off the bow. The bow, there's there's um, these little things that you put on the end of your cams to protect your cams, and then you put it in there and it has the straps to strap it down. We take the sight off. We take everything off of it. We put the sight. I'm glad you mentioned that. We took that sight and put it in a hard case. And but they have Ziploc areas mm-hmm. that you can put all that stuff in. And then he has one section for his clothes. But he he only needs like like he'll go on a three day trip. He just brings three shirts, like <laughs> three shooting shirts and one t shirt. I'm like, dude, like grab a couple more shirts. <laughs> Amy says four shirts. Four pants. That way you can mix match there you everything. Go. Nobody I know. learned from her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, we are the masters of traveling because we have such a big family. Yeah. So that like everybody gets their own backpack. Yep. That's it. We're not we're not checking luggage. I'm not paying thirty five bucks for anybody to, to send anything. Even our bows, we make sure our bows are under fifty pounds, which is thirty five dollars. And yeah. those legends case keep it at thirty five. I don't know on the hard case is it the is it thirty five? We have been charged one time, and that was because of the length plus height plus width <laughs> has to be under seventy one inches, I think. And we've had it measured one time, and that was going to Vegas Did this year, you? and they charged us seventy five eighty bucks. Uh, but other than that, all of our years of flying with them, all of the different places in the U.S. We've never been charged. And actually, I can get it for free if I check his luggage with me. It actually, for some reason, with my United card gives me a free free luggage. So it's like we don't even have to <laughs> The guy to pay. says, and this is the first time that I've ever been patted down. The guy had said, um, do you want me to measure it and show you? I was like, yes, yes. We've never been charged before. So, yes, I need you to measure it. And Julie's like, Mom, that's why you got patted down. As soon as we left there, we went to... Uh, the screening. <laughs> TSA. <laughs> She's like, they put it's, it in the computer right it's there. It's the lady in the leopard skin <laughs> outfit. <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? A pantsuit? A leopard oh. skin pantsuit. <laughs> Next time I'm going to wear my wind suit. There you go. That I wore up here and you freaked out about. Where, where, oh, I, I think you should wear that to Florida and you'll fit in. <laughs> I will. I will. Every retired grandma there will have yeah. one. So you better, when you're driving, you better watch out. They're slow, apparently. I don't remember that last time. I remember paper straws. That's all I remember. Paper, paper straws. straws. <laughs> Ryan was mad as fire. Like They kept giving us paper straws, like stupid straws. And I remember Luke. It's like falling apart. <laughs> That was terrible. Yeah, so you're going to be gone for four days at Gator Cup. Yep. And so that's why we wanted to talk about packing so that you guys yes. know there are diff- different ways and it's whatever right. you're comfortable with. And it is. It's and, your preference. You know, I make fun of Wendy, but you know what? It, if it makes her comfortable that she's has a hard case, <laughs> go with the hard case. <laughs> we just talked Me? about having I fun. I can have more fun. That's right. That's right. She doesn't stress about it. <laughs> She's 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 got trackers on it. Oh, that's the one thing we did do. Oh, yes. We took the Apple tags and stuck it in his bow case. And yes. We could literally track that thing. We once we get to the airport, like when we get in there, I could track to see if it was on the plane. I could track it once I got there to see where it was. It worked great. Yeah. I was impressed with how well it worked. I would have thought yeah. that 
that it wouldn't be able to recognize it until it just showed up right next to me. <laughs> but no, it, it, I could I could see where it was roughly. Ivy where Gonzalez, it was. And he did the same thing with his. Yep. So that's I uh, yeah I haven't gone that route yet um, because you know, I'm, I'm not a real technical kind of person. <laughs> we know <laughs> technology is just not my thing. But <laughs> when we we went on our last trip to Vegas, I had an extra tag. <laughs> And so I walk in. I was like, here, I'm going to put this in your backpack. I put it in my, my wife's backpack. And she's like, oh, are we putting these in everybody's? I'm like, nope. <laughs> she leaves her she's stuff like, she's everywhere. She's just like, rude. That's where Ryan gets it. Yeah, she's like, rude. I'm like, really? Is it rude? Because we've gone back a lot of times for Especially your stuff. Especially a Vegas trip. She's like, I've never left my backpack. I'm like, okay. Purse. But there's always, yeah. I've got one snuck in her purse. I got one like, <laughs> How many of those things you have? <laughs> Not many. Just a few. I love her. She is <laughs> as sweet as the day is long, but I have learned or I have heard about all of her at times that you've had to go back and get things. Yeah, I have to go back and we've had we've had to driven we have we've driven <laughs> many, many miles and hours for her stuff. And like we even went to a wedding and we'd made fun of her and we get back, she's like we get all the way back to the home. They were like an hour and a half away. And she's like, dang it, I left my phone there. I'm like, how do you no. leave your phone there? And so we called it. And sure enough, somebody answered it that we knew. And they drove it back to us. That's funny. That's I was like, funny. oh, I would have killed you if I had to drive all the way back. But you would have done it. I would have. I would have. Oh, man. So if you have any questions, feel free to email us. And, you know, Scott has all the different brands, uh, the information on the different brands, prices. I will tell you, SKB cases are a little pricier than a soft-sided case. Yeah, uh, they're right around 500 bucks now. Yes, yes. Uh, we are so appreciative that someone um, gifted one to Julia before Vegas because she got a new bow and her other SKB case didn't fit it. And... Uh, that was amazing. That was huge for the us. The archery for someone community to have done is that. awesome, isn't it? Yes, it's. It, <laughs> I was starting to say better than family. Can't say that, but I mean, it, it's family. We talk about that. We've done podcasts on that before. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions on the different kinds of cases, and then what size of bow will fit in one case, what type of case, because they come in different sizes, uh, different lengths, different widths, different heights. Uh, he has all that information. Yep. And you can come, give us a call at Texas Archery. Mm -hmm. We're actually trying to get more online so that we can actually, you know, yeah, sell Yeah, the stuff. online uh -huh. store. Yeah, uh -huh. yep. um, maybe not cases. Cases are tough. <laughs> They're so <laughs> big. Uh, but we're, 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 we're getting that built up. But thank you guys. And if you, like she said, if you have any questions, just let us know. And we will see you guys at the next Target. And that is it for this episode of Raising an Archer.